Hello there, Vanya community. Uh, I haven't been doing that much reviewing of albums like many have done. Uh, <laughs> uh, strange, some might think, since I'm reviewing albums on my web pages and blogs. Uh, but I'm going to do an exception today because uh, a couple of vinyl updates ago. No, oh, I think it was my uh, last vinyl update. Uh, I uh, mentioned that I had bought. Madonna's album MDNA and uh, Adam87 wanted me to uh, to uh, say to uh, give my opinion about it and I thought that the best way to do it was to uh, actually do a little uh, mini review of this album uh, nothing long just some words about what I thought of it so Adam hi to you uh, I'm going to be as fair as I can uh, and uh, hopefully you will like this review. Uh, I listen to this right now, I've just finished listening to it and uh, uh, you said it was the Madonna's weakest album and uh, of those I have uh, and have listened to I tend to agree with you actually. Uh, it's the weakest album that I have with Madonna right now, no doubt about it. But I'm going to be uh, a little tougher. I'm going to say that, that this is uh, the continuing of what I feel is the downfall of Madonna since 2000. Uh, still, in my opinion, Madonna has done a, a really good album since uh, in the since 2000 uh, and with exception from Confessions on a Dance Floor who was a pretty good album but this album here I had a little high hopes for since it produced a, a, a produced by William Orbit who produced a Ray of Light album that is one of my favorites uh, and who has done so many great things during the 90s and uh, of course a lot of, a lot of water has flowed floating under the bridge for his career since then and uh, William Orbit today isn't exactly the same producer as he was then unfortunately uh, many songs is also produced by French producer Martin Solvay uh, who I don't know all that much about and also the Benassi brothers who I think is Italian uh, someone may correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, also, a couple of house uh, artists, uh, Euro dance artists, who I I'm a huge fan of Euro disco and trance music from the native 80s and early uh, 00s. It's one of the few trance music, vocal trance is one of the few genres from the early of the 00s that I actually like. Uh, but Benassi Brothers was not one of those that I really enjoyed all that much. Uh, however, they are uh, doing some okay here. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, but the problem here is that it is an orgy with experimental dance techno music that uh, has uh, is very unsorted. It's, it's very... Uh, it has very f few real melodies uh, and uh, in my opinion it's pretty boring dance music with uh, a lack of a real beat that, that uh, is uh, normally is uh, this genre of how of the euro and techno is built on uh, so uh, um, I was a bit disappointed because I had a little more high hopes when I heard that William Orbit was a part of this album. Uh, I'm not going to say that he, he is uh, failing. Uh, by far the best songs of this album is the two last one, Masterpiece and Falling Free. And he has produced those two, plus the, the song Love Spent. Those three uh, is produced by William Orbit and they, they actually works. Uh, Masterpiece is by far the best song of the album in my opinion. Uh, uh, I also at some point like the song Some Girls uh, uh, which I think is also very interesting because it's produced uh, uh, also 
besides orbit by Klaus Ålund, Swedish, so he's from my country, Sweden. Uh, and uh, he is uh, normally the, the, the front member of uh, the Swedish uh, rock uh, hip-hop group uh, Teddy Bears. And uh, as a producer, he has also produced some of Robin's uh, later album, and uh, he's a good producer. I'm not a fan of Teddy Bears, but he has done some great production, especially with Robin. And he he, he actually does some girls. Uh, it's, it work it works actually. It's, it, it's uh, no okay case song, no doubt about it. Uh, I think also I'm addicted. It is a, a pretty good dance track. Uh, Nothing that I would see as a single, actually, but uh, it, it actually works uh, as an album track. Uh, Girl Gone Wild, who is the first and, and main single of this album, is uh, um, maybe one of Madonna's uh, most weakest singles. Weakest in the meaning that it goes in here and out here. I still don't remember it when I, now when I listen to it because it's uh, uninteresting. So, uh, I was hoping for more. Uh, I might, I can't say that it's the weakest in Madonna's career because I have still not heard American Life and I heard, still haven't heard Hard Candy and I'm, I'm a little scared to listen to them because I fear that they are even worse. American Life because it's produced by Merve that I uh, felt when he did music was, b b did m uh, made Madonna a whole lot more boring. Uh, I'm not a fan of Merve as a producer and Hard Candy because she works with a couple of persons there that I uh, definitely don't like, like Justin Timberlake and that horrible four minutes song. So, so uh, I guess I gotta have them for the collection, but I'm not so sure that they are all that good. I can't say whether they are better or worse, if I think they're going to be better or worse than this one. But of these, the, the Madonna albums I have, this might be the weakest, because it's, uh, it, it is uh, in 80% pretty boring. Uh, I don't, I, I don't feel any rhythm that is interesting. I uh, don't hear any melodies that actually is interesting. It's, it's uh, more or less an experimenting album with the techno and so on and uh, that uh, I don't feel is interesting. Uh, so uh, on a scale up to from five up to five I give this uh, two out of five I'm gonna give this. So I'm a little bit hard. But unfortunately, I feel that I can uh, put the level a little bit higher when it comes to Madonna because she has done so many great things during the 80s and 90s. And it's very sad. It's break my heart to, to hear how, how uh, bad I think she has become during the, uh, from 2000 and uh, forward. So uh, I want to hear a Madonna with normal melodies, but she it comes down to earth again, slows down a bit, and uh, makes a normal album with normal pop songs that uh, isn't any kind of experiment, isn't any kind of shock value, because we know that Madonna can do sh shocking stuff. She, we know that she can uh, make media interested in her. Uh, let's hear a normal pop album, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, I'm not so sure that the Madonna album that uh, are being made currently is in that direction, unfortunately. But let's hope for the best. But two out of five for this one. Uh, unfortunately, I think it was not what I expected. It was a pretty uh, confusing and, and boring uh, dance album with a f some a few exceptions. It ended up good but it's not enough to, to make it an okay album. So I think I will have it in the collection for the, have, have it in the collection for, to, for the Madonna collection, but I'm not so sure I will listen to it all that much. So with that, I hope that you are satisfied with my little review. And until next time, have a real good time and a good weekend and so long.